Hi guys, welcome back to Life in Envelopes. I am Jennifer Bleacher. It is Tuesday, June 13th, and oh boy, this month is flying. <laughs> okay, so today, um, my main, it's already almost 2 p.m. and my main task today and yesterday was to fill orders because we have so many orders. So that's what I worked on all day today. I have all of these orders ready to go to the post office. I'm about to take them there. And then I have this whole stack. Oh, it's heavy. <laughs> ready for Jacob to cut. This is a lot. It might take him two days to cut this. We'll have to see. Um, to fill more orders. I'm also heading over to Megan's tonight. Megan is one of my best friends. I'm helping her with a project at her house and uh, we started it last week but we didn't finish it so I'm headed back this week to help her finish. Last week when I went over she made dinner for me so I'm gonna make dinner for her this time. I'm gonna take it with me and I'm gonna insert a link to the recipe in the video. Um, here's a picture right here <laughs> of the video. It's, uh, what's her name? The Pioneer Woman. Uh, this recipe looks like I'll be able to do it. And in the in the video, she doubles the recipe. And I thought, oh, that's such a cool idea because I can do that. And I can take half to Megan tonight and then leave half for David and Jacob because they'll be here for dinner. Um, and Logan and I will be at Megan's. So anyways, I'm going to make that. I need, I need to head to the post office, drop off these orders. I'm going to pick up the ingredients to make this recipe and then um, do that and head over to Megan. So I did have a special request to show you guys what it looks like when David's, not David, sorry, Jacob, is working in the shop. So I'm gonna try to film some of that footage for you guys today as well. Okay, let's go ahead and jump right in. Hello friends and happy, what day is it? <laughs> Wednesday. Um, so last night was a huge success. Everyone loved the food I made. I brought a tray over to Megan's and we also I also took Texas toast and strawberries, like fresh cut strawberries. So I'm gonna insert a link of that for you guys to see what I took to her. I also made a tray for the boys for David and Jacob and um, I cooked that and I have some film footage of that as well. It was a huge success. Everyone loved it. So I will definitely include the recipe down in the description box below. So this morning I have just been filling orders all morning. I have some more orders to fill and then I need to print stickers for Jacob. It's almost one. He's coming in at three. I just took a break. I'm really hot because I just took a break from working in the office here and went out to the side garden and kind of finished that up. I didn't film it, but let me at least show you the finished product. Let's go out there and take a look. So this is how it looks. It's kind of too bad. This artificial grass that I had uh, does not match <laughs> the other artificial grass, but it's fine. This is a very, I don't know if you can tell, but this is a very like secluded, area of our yard it's completely like blocked off from the rest of the yard we have our house here a tree we have our fence and then the side of our neighbor's house so it's just very private and uh, Jacob put a couple chairs out here for him and his friends to sit in and I thought it looked pretty good he had just had two chairs so I brought over the rest of the chairs that we have so we made a whole little like nice and sweet secluded area for Jacob or Logan to come hang out with their friends. So here's the rest of my yard, which you never get to see. We're so lucky we have such a huge yard and we really need to do something with it. This is like a punching bag that Logan likes to punch. We have this whole like side yard over here as well. So much space. My dream is one day to have some extra like spending money to 
do some fun stuff with the yard. In the meantime, we just mow it. Over there behind that tree is a little secluded seating area I was telling you about. Hello guys, just doing a quick check-in on Thursday evening. So I had a very successful day in the Etsy shop. Got so many orders out today, got everything printed off for Jacob to cut. <laughs> And then um, Logan and I squeezed in a trip to the pool and I got a little bit of footage to share with you. So I wanted to share with that, that with you now. <laughs> Hi guys, sorry, the graph tech is cutting, so if it's a little bit loud. I, it is 10 o'clock at night, and I have been, I've put in, I started working at eight o'clock this morning. I took breaks to eat, but I, <laughs> I was determined to get down to zero orders today. That was my goal, was to finish filling all the orders for the week. So I didn't quite reach today's goal. I haven't checked in with you guys today because I wanted to come on here and say I had gotten down to zero orders. That was my goal. It didn't happen. Once this is done cutting, I'm calling it a night. <sighs> How many hours have I been working? Oh, 14 hours, I've been working for 14 hours. I'm exhausted. Um, I'll give you a little view of where we're at. So I'm, I've got some stickers cut there, some, cut here and here. These are all, you can see these down here, These all of these orders have been filled. Uh, I just need to do the postage on them. And then here is my pile of stickers that still needs to be cut. That I am definitely gonna get all of this done tomorrow and get this out, but I have also other things that needed to happen tomorrow, which is why I was trying to get it done today. I have been watching, um, Grey's Anatomy of the last few days as I work. So that's like, that was really motivating to keep me working because it's so interesting. I'm on season eight, episode 10. Uh, another YouTuber that I follow, she was watching the season finale for season six, which, so I, I watched Grey's Anatomy the first season like years ago when it first came out. Um, I didn't even know when that was, but that was like years and years ago. So I would watch it on TV when it first came out, but that's all I'd seen. So I went straight from that years ago to jumping into the season finale of season six because I wanted to see what like all the fuss was about that she was like freaking out over. So I started there and now I'm on season eight, episode 10. <laughs> so um, it's just a very exciting show. Okay, so that's it for tonight. I will see you guys in the morning. Hello friends and happy Friday. So the number one goal today, as far as work goes, is to fill all the orders that are completely, that are currently open in the shop. If I'm able to finish that before we start Fun Friday, um, then I will work on the video that was supposed to come out yesterday. So yesterday I was supposed to release my weekly family budget check-in, but I worked on orders all day <laughs> from early morning to late at night, so that didn't happen. So um, I'm kind of giving myself some grace. It's going to happen, so if it doesn't happen today, it will either happen on Saturday or Sunday. It will eventually be released, but um, right now I wanna make orders my number one priority. This weekend I'm having a sticker release, a um, August, planner sticker release, and I'm also having a Father's Day sale, so I just wanna have everything done in the shop before those two things happen. I'm predicting some good sales with that, and I wanna be prepared next week to just hit the ground running with those orders to work on those. Before we get started today, I have a package of clothing. I like never buy new clothing. <laughs> But this month, I used my, my spending money. Every family member gets a little bit of spending money each month. And I used all of my spending money to buy some new tops. So here, let me show you. So this top that I'm currently wearing, it's from Amazon. And what I love about it is it's like full coverage and it has like a swing to it. So I feel, I feel like it covers all the parts that like concern me, including my arms. But in the summertime, it is just way too hot. I need something that's not like this. The other, so I have this exact top 
in like multiple colors and patterns. That's, that's like all the tops I have in my closet. I think I have like five of these. And then I have like five sundresses, but they're like tank tops. So if you ever see me wearing like a tank top in a video, I may have worn one this week, I can't remember. Um, that's actually a sundress. But I don't have anything in between. And I would really like just a t-shirt <laughs> to wear. I don't wanna have to wear a sundress that's completely sleeveless. And I don't wanna wear these that have the, the three quarter length sleeve. I just want a t-shirt. So I found this company, or they found me probably, with like marketing algorithms <laughs> that on uh, you know Facebook and Instagram. I don't even know where I saw a link to this, but this company is called Bloom. Bloom Chick or Bloom Chic, I'm not sure. These bags are really nice. I'm excited. But they carry plus sizes, which is what I need. And I think it's fun um, to, when, when YouTubers share plus size like clothing hauls because there's so many of us out there who are plus size and we're not represented enough, I think, as far as like the YouTube community goes. So I will be trying this stuff on for you. I got one, two, three, four, five, Six. Oh my gosh, I got six tops. I don't know if I'm gonna like them all. Altogether, I spent about $80. This is not a sponsored video, but I did find out that they have a um, a um, affiliate affiliate program, and I thought, you know what? After I try this, if I like their products, maybe I'll I will like contact them in the future. But unfortunately, I'm not an affiliate with them right now, so I don't have a discount code or anything like that. But let's just let's just take a look at what I got. I'm so excited. Okay. Oh, I love the feel of this fabric. So first, so they're all short sleeve t-shirts because that was my goal. And I think they're all the same size, which I think I got three. Oh, it's not an extra large. It's um, US size 22-24. So this is a gray um, tie-dyed top with a V-neck, short sleeves, and it looks like it's gonna be nice and swingy. So we will definitely try this one on. Oh my gosh, you guys, I already feel so much better. It was so, I was getting so hot in that top. So this is what it looks like. Let's see, I can give you a full length view. So it's definitely tighter around the midsection, which is where I feel self-conscious, but it feels so nice. I don't know if I care, because <laughs> it feels so good. I think this one is a winner. I think I'm gonna keep this one. Let's, let's take a look at the next one. So one of the struggles that I have by buy, buying like, if I buy the size that fits my midsection, it's like large on the top here. <laughs> that's the, that's like the, the problem. Okay, so here is another gray top. <laughs> this one's a solid gray. So all of my pants, I have a very minimalistic wardrobe. So I have like four pairs of jeans, the exact same jean, and I have like four pairs of these pants here. <laughs> And that's it, you know? So that's why uh, I go with colors that I think are gonna match either black or blue jean. Okay, so here is this one. Same idea of short sleeves. Ooh, these sleeves are like butterfly. Like they're longer. That's, that's neat. And then it has some lace detail in the front. So let's try it on. It looks a little short. I'm kind of tall. I'm about, I'm about 5'8". I used to be 5'9". I'm 5'8 now, so let's try it on for length. Okay, so I love this lace detail in the front and the sleeves. Those are really fun. I love that. So again, it's like tight in the middle, but I don't know if I care. I just want to be comfortable. Like I still want to look pretty and as cute as possible, but I also want to be comfortable. I don't want to go around being hot because I'm covering up all the time. Okay, let's take a look at top number three. Can't see, just a second. Okay, that's better. <laughs> okay, ooh, this is cute. I love that sleeve detail. So we've got black and gray which will go great with my black pants and my jean pants. Um, again, short sleeves. Let's just try it on. We just don't know until we try it on. Okay, top number three, and I have to say, I love this one. It is incredibly comfortable. Like, this material is stretchy, but it's also, it's definitely like t-shirt material, where like this first one I tried on, it's like a silky, 
let's see, it's polyester. 95% polyester, 5% spandex. So it's, it looks really nice and it's silky, but it doesn't feel quite as breathable as this one. This one feels really good. And even though it's still like a little bit tighter around the middle than I like, it, um, I feel like the black kind of minimizes that section and brings the eye up to the shoulders and the top where I'm a little bit smaller. So I think this one, top number three, is definitely a winner. Okay, let's take a look at top number four. We're gonna be going way out of my comfort zone and we're gonna do a little color here. This is such a pretty color. It's like a heathered lavender. The sleeve has like a ruffle detail on it. And then I think it's just, yeah, like a V-neck top. I think I'm gonna like the way this fits by that ruching I see at the top there under the V-neck. the v -neck. I think that ruching is gonna be very flattering. Let's try it on, make sure the length is good, and let's see how the color looks on me. Like I said, I don't do color very often, so let's check it out. Okay, top number four. So that it comes down a little bit lower, but that's okay, because like my all my bras are like sports bras, <laughs> like basically like tank tops. I love the sleeves, very comfortable. I think that ruffle detail is super fun. And this material again is like a cotton, so it's like super breathable. And I love the ruching here, which gives me some movement in the middle or some space in the middle. Um, so this is top number four. Lengthwise, I think it's okay. I feel okay. I feel I think I would be comfortable in it. Of course, I'm not happy with this, but again, that's that's more of my body issues and not a complaint really about the shirt. What do you guys think? I don't know about the color. How does the color look on me? <laughs> I don't know, what do you guys think? Let me here sit down so you better look at the color. Hmm, is this a color that works for me? I don't know, what do you guys think? Okay, top number five also has some color, but this is more of the color scheme that I'm comfortable with. I always wear greens and blues. So this is like a, a green, aqua green with some really pretty pink and purple flower detail. Um, this looks like my sticker patterns actually. Okay, so it has this, this uh, cool, um, I don't know if you call it ruching or not at the top. I like that and it's stretchy. The arms are nice and wide, fluted arms. Okay, top number five. I don't know how it looks, but it feels amazing. Let me put my glasses on so I can get a better view of what it looks like. Oh my gosh, this, this one feels so good. I love this one. Okay, top five. What do you guys think of top number five? Okay, and finally, top number six is just a classic t-shirt in black. It has white writing with one of my favorite sayings, be kind. I live by that saying, and I love other people who live by that saying. Let me try it on. Classic t-shirt, let's see how it fits my body. Okay, top number six is a definite no for me because I feel so self-conscious in it, you guys. The arms are super tight. The midsection is super tight. If you were me and you had to choose between these six tops, which ones would you keep? You could keep all of them if you want. Which ones would you keep? Okay, let's get to work. Hey guys, happy Saturday, June 17th. And it is 10.30 p.m. I wanted to do a quick update because I want to share with you like the realistic side of what I do. So I am so far behind. So, so as far as my YouTube videos go, I wanted to put out a video on Thursday for my family budget check-in. I wanted to do a cash envelope stuffing on Friday. I wanted to do a sticker release today. <laughs> and tomorrow this video is supposed to come out. I don't know if that's gonna happen or not because it's Saturday, 10.30 p.m. I'm still working on sticker designs for the, for the planners. I've been working on them all day long. I did take about probably a total of two hours off today. I took a break at lunch, I took a break at dinner, and I did run up to Sam's Club with David to pick up a few things. Other than that, I've been working on this all day. I finally finished, this is just a partial, the revamped design for um, 
the Live Rich Planner in the full size weekly. I made a bunch of changes. I'm so excited about the changes, but then I went to lay them down and like all of my measurements are wrong and I think it's because I'm exhausted and I probably need to stop and get back to this tomorrow. But I really wanted to release these stickers today because tomorrow is the Father's Day sale. So anyways, I think I'm gonna have to call it a night. I usually don't film on Saturday and Sunday, but I thought, I want to be real. I want to show you what it's really like to um, to uh, do this kind of work. It's fun. It's fun making stickers, but it's a lot of work. So my point is, I have to call it a night because I'm making mistakes, and now I'm, I'm just wasting my time because I'm making mistakes. So I will be back in the morning to get this up and finished. Hello, friends, and happy Sunday. So. I'm so excited. It is 3.17 p.m. on Sunday, Father's Day, and I, I told David I had to finish this project today, but that if he wanted to do anything, I could stop and take a break. Luckily, um, he's been really cool <laughs> about letting me get this done, and it's finally done, and it looks so good, you guys. So the reason why this sticker release took so much longer than like my normal sticker releases is because I was completely revamping the weekly kits for these two planners, the Live Rich Planner in the small size and the full size. And I could not be happier with the way it turned out. So um, here, let me flip the camera around and show you. So for example, let's look at the weekly spread for the small size first. Um, as you can see, everything is 20% off right now because we're having our Father's Day sale. It runs today, which is Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Everything in the shop is 20% off. So here's what it looks like. We have day headers that are a solid color on top and then the stripe, the accent color on the bottom. So that is a change from the way it used to be. I've made the big box at the top smaller so that we could fit these items here, these titles. Let me show you. That is this and this. <laughs> and then um, I was able to keep the flags and a few dots, but then I added these days of the week to go right here, down the side there. And then we have some decorative washi, like bottom washi. Um, right here and it's cut perfect to size. This is the full size, so it actually has an extra striped one as well, but it's, um, I'll show you that in a second. But on the small size, there wasn't enough room for that. So here's the small size kit. Let me show you the full size mm -hmm. kit. Okay, so here is what the full size weekly spread looks like. So we have the two-toned day, days of the week headers. We have that small box that goes at the top and those same title boxes here on the side. We have some flags and then we have the days of the week that go at the box and the box at the top. And then um, for the full size, I was able to do the two different washi. So we have a thick washi for the bottom, but then we also have this like thin washi. It's not attached to this, but you can easily like layer it together because it's very pretty together. Um, but you could also use it separately. It's cut separately in the file. And that is it, and I am calling it a week. I'm gonna go spend some time with David on Father's Day, and I will be back next week. See you guys then. Bye.